Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. And I know I showed you guys the Boom Boom character before, but I'm kind of done with playing him. You can always just look it up on my profile. Uh, today I want to show you guys another character I probably won't be playing too much of. Originally this character was actually a bow uh, called Pox Bow, but I ended up finding out that personally for me it was a lot more fun as a wander. Now I've spent like a better part of like 2000 chaos almost customizing this character, changing it, trying out a bunch of different things. Um, so the main, the main gimmick here, I guess we'll say is it's played as a trickster and originally I wanted to play a trickster just because I think that escape artist is the coolest node, uh, in terms of everything that's gotten changed. I really like this node. So the whole point of this was to be able to play an evasion based character that's CI, um, and not really lose too much energy shield. Now I noticed playing a bow character, I wasn't able to pick up too much. As a wanderer, I can see myself getting to about 9,000, uh, mainly because we do have the option of a shield, um, and I could always change this around. So anyway, the focus of this character is to scale lightning damage, uh, utilizing a Piscator's Vigil. Since Piscator's has a huge amount of uh, increased elemental damage, you want to get Abyss Jewels with as much damage as possible. Now, I did have really good jewels like this, for example, or not this one, like this one, but a lot of my jewels are currently with a bow. Um, and the thing about bows is that, well, uh, I'm not really playing a bow anymore, so this is, you kind of want to find like lightning damage to attacks and then lightning damage uh, to attacks while holding a wand, because that's prefix and suffix, um, like you can kind of see here. This has lightning damage to attacks and lightning damage to wand attacks. So I'd recommend stacking those pretty much everywhere you can get them. Um, now I'm running 17.6k evasion with no flasks. That's kind of just chilling like this. There are many different options for you to use for chess pieces. Um, so for example, I played around with like Fox's Fortune, uh, another really good uh, ES chess piece. You don't get the 1500 evasion as ES on full life. So I'll go to like 6,700 maybe, 6,500. But you do gain the act or the uh, the benefit of unlucky, which basically means that any damage that hits you rolls twice in terms of damage. So if lightning hits you, now I could be wrong on this. I'm pretty sure it's how it works. But if lightning hits you for you know 1,400, but it rolls seven to 1,400, and the second one that rolled hits 22, it'll take the 22 instead of the 1,400. Um, there's also Shroud of the Lightless, which actually gives more energy shield than a Hiri's Ire, uh, because you do get this extra little Abyss slot right here. So if you put in like a 40 ES, you'll go like 7300, maybe even a little bit more. So this is also super good. I was actually using Shroud of the Lightless, and I noticed that it was kind of overkill for me. Um, I did way too much like damage for the mana cost, so I ended up moving my Kinetic Blast to a Vertex, which makes it so my Kinetic Blast costs 24 mana. So I can literally just go like this, which is so amazing. Um, so I've got damage on full life, elemental damage with attacks, kinetic blast, and GMP. Um, you can supplement or replace these with added lightning if you want. I found this to be better for me. Uh, and then the other main link we're going to focus on is just our barrage, which is just a simple um, knockback, which I've found to be really good because I knock them back so I can use kinetic blast. Uh, elemental focus, barrage, increased or elemental damage with attacks, and GMP. Now you can mess around with whatever you want. I literally just respect this character to wands like... I don't know, an hour ago, so things are not really optimized yet. Um, my Uber Lab is going to be a Swift Killer. Now, the reason why I took Harness the Void first is just for like kind of testing and stuff, but I actually really like it just as it's essentially just a free damage um, that works with so many different things. So, Swift Killer is going to be really good because it's going to give us better power charge sustain, it's going to give us better frenzy charge sustain, it's also going to give us a ton of increased damage uh, from our frenzy and power combined. Uh, we're also going to get, well, actually, that's pretty much about it. Uh, but just in general, it's another damage thing, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Zeri's Splendor is another thing, but I'd, it's kind of hard to come across them sometimes. All right, and going with the gear, I'm just going to show you. I'm using Episcator's. Uh, I've got this ring here. Now, we're focusing on lightning, so that's why I've got lightning crafted on pretty much everything. This is a ring I crafted from scratch. You're probably not going to have a ring that looks like this. Of course, you don't really need something like this. You could just use, like, Curse on Hit with your Herald of Ice. Um, you don't have to go overboard. I just wanted to try crafting something, so I really like this ring. Um, Esha's Mirror. Syntrex. Uh, Syntrex have my Leech, which is actually really important for me. Uh, you need to make sure that you get your Leech. And then I've got just these gloves, basically. And just to go over my tree to show you guys what I have on it. Um, 
again, the tree is not 100% optimized, but it is working out pretty well for me. Um, I have to pick up a three point jewel here, probably fill in some energy shield, uh, potentially even come across through here, the top side. I haven't really decided yet. And my flasks, I don't need to use this onslaught flask. Um, and I'm not using any unique flasks at the moment. So let's go ahead and pop it in. Just to remind you guys, I am using simply a four link kinetic blast, nothing really too crazy. And in terms of what I'm running, we've got Herald of Ice with Ice Bite along with Onslaught. Uh, I don't really like the Ice Bite too much, but it does work. The Uber Lab will be much better ascendancy or um, uh, charge generation. And then we also have uh, Aspect of the Cat which is crafted onto our ring. I don't really know how I feel about this, but it's been working out pretty well so far, especially if you run with a support because like nothing ever wants to attack you. Uh, and then the last one is discipline. And that's just sitting like, I don't even know where it is. There we go, enlightened discipline. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into a simple blue toxic sewer. That's a Mr. Sub Fizz. This is why I'd like to get a decoy totem. Chat was suggesting it earlier, I just didn't really bother with it, but decoy totem would be pretty cool because you can just knock them in the in the wall and then you could just put a decoy down. Oh yeah, we're not using any Vol skills yet, but I'd highly recommend Vol Grace. That's pretty much the map clear. Uh, super good for indoor maps. Uh, outdoor maps, not as good. Um, yeah, but pretty happy with the character. I have been playing with a support, which makes me a lot more defensive, uh, being as that is one of Wanderer's biggest downsides is their lack of survivability. Um, but it, it shouldn't necessarily be too bad. Like I said, you could push to like probably 9k energy shield. Um, just make sure you prioritize your Abyss Jewels. Uh, Abyss Jewels are really important. Uh, make sure you can get at least one lightning damage roll with an energy shield roll. It will make a very big difference on your character. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the character. I just wanted to let you guys know what I did. Uh, I did help Alira on this guy, and that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Let me know what you think of the character. And if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. I'll see you boys all tomorrow.